Hello beautiful people, my name is Athel, let's jump into it. And today I want to talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about Dan Savage's latest column. And before I get into it, what I want to say is I don't care what your kink is. I'm really not offended, I'm not bothered, as long as it's consensual, no one is being hurt all good. If you want to dress as the Statue of Liberty and gently rub against someone who's dressed as the Eiffel Tower and that's what works for you, well, you do you. If the only way you can orgasm is through something monster truck related, then I highly recommend you get into a relationship with someone who's really into monster trucks and ideally drives them or works on them or something. But what I do think though is if you're going to marry someone and the first time they find out that you're really into some kind of kink that's a little bit on the edge, the first time they find out about it shouldn't be on the honeymoon as you come out of the bathroom wearing a squirrel costume. Because you know if something like that is going on, it's going to go sideways really, really quickly and you're both going to be miserable. So here's the question Dan responded to. I have been married to my husband for two years. Five months into our relationship, before we got married, he confessed that he was an adult baby. I was so grossed out, I was literally ill. Why would a great guy want to be like this? I told him he would have to choose diapers or me. He chose me. I believed him and married him. So, the fact that there needs to be an ultimatum before escalating things up into the getting married stage. That tells you that something is horribly, horribly wrong. If there's going to be ultimatums, it's a last ditch move to try and save a relationship, not double down on it and, and, and increase the level of commitment. It means there's something fundamentally wrong with this relationship. They both have what I would call two different true agreements. He wants to be adult adult baby guy, she wants to be heterosexual, vanilla, normal woman, whatever you want to call it. So, and, and Dan pretty much, you know, piled on here. It's what I really didn't like about it is that he, you know, got an expert in to say how, you know, this is really deep kink and it's not going to change. He got a adult, adult, adult baby personality in to talk about how, you know, this is what he should do and explore and she should kind of be open to it. And then she, then he pretty much took a turn shaming her as well. Clearly, you're not interested in understanding your husband's kink, nor are you open to working out an accommodation that allows your husband to explore his kink on his own, which he, she made perfectly clear before the relationship got to the marriage stage. She made an ultimatum about it. She made it clear she wasn't interested in it. And he goes on, suppressing a kink isn't possible. So if you can't live with the diaper lover you married, if you can't accept this kink, allow him to indulge in it on his own and refrain from blowing up when you stumble onto any evidence. Or do that diaper loving husband of yours a favor and divorce him. And that, that I very much agree with. I think the, th the thing that Dan is completely missing though is that she has a kink too. And she needs to be accepted for what her kink is. Her kink is, I assume, vanilla, heterosexual, adult men. That's what she's into. It's not going to change. She can't be talked out of it. She can't be influenced out of, out of it. She can't go to therapy and change it. And she can't be open to something that is the complete opposite of what turns her on. She's into adult men, not into adult babies. And, and when you consider too that, I mean, literally, literally, her vagina just slams shut when she's faced with the idea of trying to do anything sexual with someone dressed as an adult baby. And even beyond that, they have a little kid of their own. So she's meant to bounce between an actual literal baby and an adult baby. When does she ever get to not be in this mom role? So no wonder she's losing her mind. The tragedy here is that they both were lonely enough or needy enough or whatever you want to say 
that instead of looking at the very clear, obvious red flags before they got married, they ignored them, they got married, they doubled down even further, they had a kid, and now they're in the situation where very clearly their true agreements about what they need from a relationship are coming to the surface more and more, and they are completely oppositional. There's not really an accommodation that can be made here for these two. Uh, it's a choice between one of them being horribly miserable and the other one being kind of happy or taking turns with it or switching it backwards and forwards. So what I suspect is that this is just not going to work out. Um, they are probably going to need to go their separate ways and now they have a kid. So I think that thing where you have an ultimatum before the wedding, that's the worst sign in the world. That is an absolute red flag to not continue things. So that's what I liked. That's what I didn't like. Um, yeah, if you're into heterosexual, normal, vanilla sex, that's, that's a flavor. That is a flavor. So that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good internet stuff. And I'll talk to you soon.